Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Brian if you're new around here, but what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to do a deep dive into the latest dev blog regarding the luck system in New World. There's going to be a lot of detail here and at the end of the day, I don't know how you'll actually feel at the end of this video because this is going to be very informative, but at the end of the day, when you still don't get your role, when you still don't get that drop, it still might feel like you're getting robbed because that's the nature of the RNG system. It, it giveth and it taketh away. And so what we'll do here is just for at least if nothing else, well, I hope you get something good out of it. I'm more or less making sure that I understand it, that I share the information because generally I get asked about these systems, but go ahead and sound off below if you got something good from this. And if you're new around here, guys, this is my new world specific focus channel. All you're going to see is new world content here. I hope you uh, subscribe and maybe hit that like button if you feel like I earn it. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. We have received a lot of questions about how luck works in New World. In addition to our developer updates and blogs, we'd like to share a more detailed overview of the luck system, as well as answer some frequently asked questions. In New World, there are generally two types of luck, global luck and gathering luck. Now, global luck is when a player finds something in a chest or gets a drop from a monster. This improves the player's chance that that items will actually receive a name version in the case of weapons and armor or rare in the case of items like schematics and storage chests this applies to all creature kills opening stockpiles chest containers and elite chests. it increases the potential for low drop chance items to be earned such as furniture schematics higher end storage chest and named weapons and apparel increasing your luck will definitely make it more likely to occur but each chance to earn something is independent of all others and there is a statistically no guarantee a specific item will drop based off the number of attempts this does not apply to inventory caches you earn when completing war invasion outpost rush or corrupted breaches there are some of the low drop chance items global ups luck will help you get unique armor from expedition bosses named weapons recipes schematics rare resources like perk items and crafting materials trophy materials trade skill armors now gathering luck is when a player logs mines harvests skins and earns an item this improves the chance that the player will receive additional rare components gathering luck you will receive a tool perk or a food buff this does not affect the yield of the item when gathering it does however increase the chance that different rare items will show up gathering luck is very important for you to help uncover rare items when gathering there are rare resources such as fey iron phase fiber, cinnabar, and wirewood sap, to name a few, which can only be earned when the player has any amount of gathering luck. Now, luck affects different loot tables in different ways. Gathering luck has direct effects when getting low drop chance gathering resources, such as finding petrified wood when logging or finding cinnabar when mining or carrium veins. And I'm probably butchering that word. And welcome to the channel. Global luck has a direct effect on your ability to get a low drop chance and named items from, from defeating enemies and opening chests, such as finding the Lazarus bow when defeating Scylla or getting the timeless shards from elite chests. However, luck does not affect a crafting and there are other buffs that do impact crafters ability to increase yield and quality when crafting, which are trade skill specific. Luck in New World is a complex system that is not as simple as a 0-100% to of getting a specific item. We don't use percentages in our data notation, instead we use integer-based roles. Ranges apply probability weights to the chances of specific things dropping. Those integers are converted to percentages when communicating in-game luck benefits from items. For example, 1% equals 100 bonus luck to a roll. All of the other benefits increase the amount of luck added to a roll, ultimately improving the probability of a low drop chance item resulting from a loot roll. The more luck you have, the better odds that you'll have of earning a low drop chance item because the range of probability becomes smaller. Now, what's key here in this in case you missed it is you still need to get an item to drop. Luck does not apparently have an effect on just general drops, but it has an effect on if you get an item then you have the probability roll, which I, I feel like it's a bummer that it doesn't actually impact just the general item drop rate, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, luck can be very beneficial when killing named creatures and bosses because it increases the chances that you'll receive low drop chance items. 
each buff a player has that impacts luck like those earned from weapons tools consumables and being flagged for pvp stack on one another and improve the player's global or overall global or gathering luck shields if equipped and active with a sword also add to the player's increased luck when looting mobs and chest we use a commonly asked questions for example of how your luck is applied with simplified percentages if you had a sword equipped that provided a two percent luck bonus a ring that added three percent bonus of luck and a bag of three percent bonus of luck then your additional luck would be eight percent this would raise both the floor shortening the roll possibilities for that roll and increase your luck ceiling by adding additional luck to your rolls there uh these provide a better chance for you to earn named items from enemies when an item is dropped again this only improves your odds and it is not a guarantee that a rare item will drop luck doesn't affect the rate at which items are dropped but rather the quality of the item when a drop is triggered players who kill a thousand enemies with max luck bonus have the same chance of getting the same number of items dropped as players without luck bonuses and so luck is not fluid it doesn't change unless a player has buffs applied to them from trophies consumables and items perks it also doesn't change based off the number of attempts or recent successful rolls or a low drop chance item the quality of the item does uh drops players with max luck should be overall of a higher quality players with less luck will show the result of the overall lower quality items and as always a player can have a lucky first roll and then find an item that with a different player that may have attempted to earn it multiple times so some frequently asked questions for you guys why is luck valuable when killing mobs named bosses so luck is valuable when killing named creatures and bosses as it increases the chances that you will receive name loot as well as any rare materials and jewelry our item attributes strength con intelligence and perks like keen refreshing ward skinning luck etc roll separately from the general chance to drop loot and therefore luck is not a factor in determining rarity of the non unnamed item players with high luck stats have a much better chance of earning exclusive rare drops like named weapons and trophy components. So what is a named item? Named items can be weapons, armor, or trinkets. They are low drop chance items that have unique names with fixed attributes and perks. Not every named item has a fixed gear score. Now does PVP mode enable luck give you better chances to get rare items and artifacts? So PVP pr uh, provides players with a 10% global luck to roll a named item and a 30% gathering luck, which helps in earning low drop chance items. The luck received in PVP functions the same way and other sources of global or gathering luck. So depending on the creature or gatherable, it is in going to increase the chance of finding in rare things uh, from these loot attempts. The PVP luck bonus only applies in the open world and doesn't apply during instance content like expeditions since there is no PVP threat. So how does luck affect my ability to get legendary items? Luck improves your chances of getting named or rare legendary items like trophy materials, items in the game. Luck does not increase items re uh, reliability to roll a non-named legendary item. Players must have an expertise level of 590 or higher to become eligible for legendary items at gear score 600. As a reminder, this is the first requirement for a legendary drop in rarity. A player with an expertise above 590 and high luck would have a better chance of earning a legendary named weapon. So how does luck affect my ability to earn trophy materials? Uh, global luck bonuses improve your chance at earning low drop chance trophy materials. Now do clothing, weapons, jewelry uh, with the luck parameter affect the recipe of rare uh, items and artifacts from named monsters? Example, the last boss in Melevance uh, at the point of interest. Yes. When a player finds a chest or gets a drop from a named monster, luck improves the player's chance at that item received that it will be named, in this case, weapons and armor, or rare in the cases of items like schematics and storage chests. Also, each buff for a player that impacts luck stacks on one another and improves the player overall global or gathering luck. Is the luck stat on shield working as expected when looting chests? No. It isn't. We are very, we very recently discovered a bug that automatically sheathed your weapon and shield when looking at chest, and that deactivates all bonus on the shield, fizz, element, armors, attributes, etc., and perks. This functionality is intended to prevent imbalanced stacking of combat-centric perks like crit chance. 
actively using sword and shield to earn loot drops from combat is currently the only way to benefit from a look uh, on the shield. We are prioritizing this issue against others and will aim to address it in a future release. The way that it was intended to work is thus. If you have a sword and shield equipped and actively in your hands, then the shield has a luck perk associated with it. That luck would be applied to looting chest and the sword and shield are active. If the shield is just equipped and but sheathed on your back, the perks would not be active unless it was equipped in hand with the sword. So it sounds like that's going to get fixed, but it sounds like obviously that's frustrating, <laughs> especially if you're like, oh, I'm stacking luck in my shield. All right. Are pearls working as expected? Pearls and luck perks on items can coexist and stack. Pearls socketed into items had add a bonus luck value uh, socketing them. These do not override luck perks. A pearl would not override a luck perk and players can socket a pearl into any item with an existing luck perk to increase the luck on that item. In rare instances, there may be a special item we create that we would have both a pearl socketed and a luck perk, in which case they would both stack. Does too much luck incre uh, create luck dead zones? No. Luck increases the general probability to roll and does not remove items from eligibility if you exceed a specific threshold. The maximum attainable amount of luck in the game does not lock players from attaining any content. Is there a luck sweet spot that is required to acquire certain items? There is no sweet spot, as most low drop chance items in the game require a high luck roll to obtain. The rule of thumb would be to have as much luck as possible to maximize the probability to get a high roll. There are no required amount of global luck needed in order to obtain loot from killing mobs or opening containers, with one exception, Void Essence. Void Essence, which is found in Elite Chest, requires at least one point of luck to acquire. There are rare materials with certain amounts of gathering luck that is needed to obtain rare materials, and there are also many of these items at different tiers, but some of the highest tier examples are Fey Iron, Phase Fiber Cinnabar, and Weirward Sap. What does luck, uh, what does luck safe mean? Almost all global loot outside of Void Essence has something called luck safe applied to it, which makes sure that the luck percentage modifiers attached to a roll scale in the controlled manner. This is to make sure that loot percentages for items won't be modified widely, making low drop chance items trivial to earn. It also ensures that items that are flagged as luck safe are earnable without having any luck modifiers, although having a luck modifier improves your chances. LuckSafe is not applied to gathering loot, uh, loot rolls, and it is a uh, means of gathering luck is required to obtain rare gathering materials. It also means that the more gathering luck is able to be applied to rolls when you, uh, when you gather with luck. Is there a rest bonus or other types of variables being added to luck rolls based off of time between the amount of rolls? No, each roll is treated as its own unique attempt and does not have any context applied to it from previous or potential future attempts. There is no form of rest bonus for luck either. Is there a known issue with luck perk losing effectiveness after death? None that we are aware of, but as most of our recent testing, death does not affect the total uh, global luck on the character. Does luck affect how I get gold and Azoth from any given kill? No, it does not. Does luck increase the chance I'll get a specific item? Luck does not affect items within loot buckets, but it helps chances of rolling a specific bucket. If a creature has one named item that they are eligible to drop, then yes, luck would help get that specific item. If the creature has 10 named items, then it would help you get any one of the 10 items at an equal odds. Now, for example, when you defeat the enemy named Marl, uh, you'll have the same odds of getting the named Musket Infamy as you do the Amulet of Seven Seasons, Higher Purpose, the Life Staff, the Bright Bone Battle Axe, Doom's Chance Earring, and Winter Wish, the Ice Gauntlet, which all drop from Marl. Does luck affect the gear score of an item? No, your expertise is the stat that influences the eligible range of gear score that can be rolled on an item. If anything in game is not behaving how it has been described in this article, we do and would consider that a bug and will uh, move to correctly uh, correct to fix any issues in our luck system or applied these as uh, items as quickly as possible and thanks for your questions and see you guys in a turn up and so with that that actually comes to the end of the article if you guys have any follow-up questions let me know i think for me the follow-up question that i have after this is that what kind of impact does it have on 
fishing uh, in terms of gathering luck. I believe like it would apply the 30%, but they didn't specifically name fishing here. So that's just the thought that I had popping up while reading and while kind of <laughs> as I hear the kids just playing in the background. Um, but that's just kind of the thought I have. That's something I'm going to follow up on personally. I hope that you got something good out of this. I hope this gives you some more detail about the luck system in New World. I thank you so much for your time. Hopefully you have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video. But until then, take care. Yeah. It's time to chill out on the couch and read some comments. That's right. You know me when it comes to destiny. I'm off with a clam and I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh yeah.